So I just came up to me and that very different aspects from women and men. You know, sometimes my mind blows, blows with new concepts and ideas and I feel that I needed to record this. So hello, I'm going to change my background because I had an interview last week and I put the business background. So um, this is why. Um, so yeah, I rather no background, but sometimes can be distracting for interviews. That's the masculine part of being a professional woman. So um, I was thinking about in the last days feeling that I don't create anything, you know, that um, that as a woman, we are told naturally to create, you know, especially because of the babies and, you know, having children and all of that. But that's the natural aspects of a woman. You know, we are meant to create and have the capabilities to create. And it's a birthright and a gift to create a baby with the help of a man. I mean, the, the egg and the sperm, you know. So a woman with the help of a man create a baby, okay. So don't tell you all oh, man that I don't consider your your job yourself. So um but you know well, when you when we are single as I'm single, not married yet, not children yet, um I was thinking about what the hell I'm I'm creating. Like right now in this state of my life, I have new job. I've been in trouble, I have been healing, and, you know, what do the hell I am supposed to create if I have nothing, you know, I, I felt like that, that was my mind, like, I have nothing, so, like, I am not going to go and create a baby with a random guy just because we as a woman have to create, so, you know. Um, so, um, I was thinking like that and I have always think that as, you know, in the other aspect is that as life passes, my life passes, I feel that I gotta grow, you know, I gotta grow and I, and I call my success, my changes and you know, earning or, you know, improving certain aspects of my life as growing and evolving now. But um, suddenly, a couple of minutes ago, I realized that that wasn't growing, that was creating, you know, that we as women create our person like I am as a woman can create my life my single person you know simple thing as today I am pretty not fashion at all as you can you see um I was gardening and um showering the dogs so I'm not fancy at all, but um, but tomorrow, if I want, like nothing um stops that I can get my or you know in ten minutes I can get my makeup done, and in five minutes choose a different outfit and different shoes and build you know create a very different life life you know different style 
a different outfit and I can, you know, create my image and, you know, change it, evolve it, transform it into a very different image that I have now because I'm, you know, running errands and not fashion at all. So, um, you know, and it can go to a party this night and, you know, do a very hard fashion, heavy makeup in my face and beautiful go to the salon or do it myself life uh, a hairstyle and wear some um high heels and a long um you know dress and fashion dress and I can look different you know so that's one of the examples that I suddenly thought as we as women create ourselves and transform ourselves because it's not a change and it's not something that is little you know you literally transform yourself that you may or anyone can look at you and say huh what's is that you and it always happens to me and it can happen even with in real life like um not doing this type of too much work you know as I am giving you as example but I have where and now that I'm starting wearing uh contact lessons like I take out my specs and I look very different you know and um change my specs shape style whatever and I look different you know um and it has <laughs> It has happened me so much with co-workers where they are used to see me in some very um, boring, simple, and the same style during work, you know, because that's working in, in into manufacturing, manufacturing um, area, I always dress like I literally may take my pieces of clothing and I create my own outfits. But, you know, I say in uniform, you know, I create my own uniform so I don't have to, you know, um, worry about what to wear and I don't care if I miss, I didn't care if I mess up that clothing and, you know, nothing fresh at all. So, um, and wearing the same hairstyle and my big glasses you know big specs from uh industrial protection so security and all this stuff so I look very different you know in my headphones and for the noise in my boots and my jeans and my shirt simple shirt nothing nothing cool at all and when there is an there was an event you know, a party, an anniversary, a fancy meeting for visits or projects, you know, I would dress different. And if it's a massive, formal, elegant um, event as Christmas dinner, New Year's dinner, um, the company's anniversary, like I would dress fashion you know so I literally transferred myself from and my image um to something completely different so um this is how I have realized about you know we create we as women create our life you know we as women can be mother and when the babies are grown we can be an entrepreneur and when the ba when the babies have grown and have moved to another city or are already married or whatever you can go back and work or you can have a business or you can you know take a new career path or study something else you know um 
we can go get a new hair style, hair color, and transform ourselves into, into a different woman and feel different. Like, I feel pretty different every type I wear. Like, when I am wearing kind of clothing as when I was in manufacturing field, I would feel super active, super, um, you know, uh, how would I say it? Yeah, like active, you know? Um, I would feel super productive. I would want to do many things, run errands, whatever. I wouldn't care if I get dirty, if I, you know, something of my clothing needs broken, gets broken, whatever. I don't care about it. Um, when I'm wearing a dress, I feel elegant, I feel slight, I feel, you know, mm, sexy, or I feel more feminine, calm, you know, I feel girly when I wear skirts, like, it changes every, every mood, depending on how you dress up. And this is the way, one of the ways you transform your life, you know? And now, uh, another thing is that, um, freaking mosquitoes. Another thing is that I have always thought in my old, my old personality, I used to think that you know, I'm an engineer, I study engineering, and I get at work at manufacturing or work in my field that I am good at, which is lab and projects and, you know, um, chemist and whatever. This is the only thing I am meant to do and I should do. And I can change it. You know, that was really, really close. Later on, when I started doing inner work, healing my ego and opening to my mind, my soul, my heart, I freaking was supposed to get out of here. Um, uh, I started realizing that I was not only an engineer as a person and that I didn't have to the hell be that my whole life. And I realized, you know, I can be a mother, I can be a daughter, I can, I'm a sister also, you no, know, anything. And this is how I, you know, started looking for new paths. And, you know, I was curious about marketing. I did a course, um, you know, studied a certification on digital marketing, content creation, you know, man, content manager and all of that. That was before in the pandemics. And I realized I was good at it. And I was like, okay, I can be an engineer and I can be a content creator and marketing and social media manager and all this stuff too. And then I realized I was interested in into teaching. I was good at teaching. I started teaching science and I started teaching math and I started teaching English. And I became a teacher suddenly. And realized, ooh, I'm a teacher too. And then I started working with one of my mom's friends who's a human resources manager and he asked for my help. She asked for my help. And um, I was helping her as a kind of assistant. And I started helping her and I was like, ooh, I'm good at this too. So I can be also an assistant like and and then I realized I could be more and I can't 
do even more than what I choose from the instance to do, to be, whatever. So this is how we create ourselves. I create a marketing manager. I create a content creation. I create a TikTok account and I create videos and I create my image and I create um, my mind because I transform my mind. I don't know, every, you know, every month, like I feel like I change so much every month. You know, I look at my journals and I look at my um, videos on social media, YouTube, like, you know, I, that this, my social medias and my content, like also let me see and track my inner work and my creation that I used to say growth, but yeah, growth, but it's my transformation. You know, and I realized that men are meant to build themselves and build their empire to provide. And they are meant to grow themselves and grow their empire in order to maintain a family. But we as women are meant to create create ourselves create the mother that we wish to have or we wish to be create the woman of our men's dreams create the family that we want create the relationships that we wish create the career that we desire and transform what Ever the hell we already are. Transform our image, transform our body to be healthier, to be more in tone, transform our mind to grow. And yeah. Ooh, who turned up? Prendiste la luz? Por qué la prendiste? Eh? Ah, para mí? Gracias. Miau. Llévatela. Ven, mía. Oh, so sweet. My bro just came to turn on the light. And the light was made for me. That's so sweet. And the cat's there. Um, so yeah, we are men. What was I was saying? I, yeah, the, the, you know, we as women are meant to create ourselves, you know, create a family that we want, create the business that we want, create and transform whatever we are, transform our lifestyle, transform our house, transform our body for good, of course. Or for bad, we are chaotic. We can be the healing and be the disaster too. So we each one choose. Oh damn, freaking mosquitoes. I will have to go. But yeah, this is what I wanted to to share, to record, because yeah. Now I feel, oh, damn, yeah, God, you're right. I have always transformed and create something. And I felt like I have really transformed myself, my inner self, and my habits, and I had created a better person in myself. 
and I had created a good human in myself and a wiser human and an astute human and I am creating a smart woman in me so yeah I feel so happy after this conclusion and um yeah and I feel like I don't know I can be anything you know, we as women can do, can be, can become, can create, can transform whatever you want. Like, it doesn't matter. Okay? So, um, you can be an engineer, yeah, but you're also a content creator. And you're also a assistant. And I'm thinking about going into other different fields into my career and transform some sides of my profession to create something even help bigger to help out people in my life. And yep, that's pretty much what I wanted to share. And I feel happy. So I thought that, you know, we get a, get out of the mindset of achieving whatever we think in our heads to be successful. And, um, and yeah. And just feel and flow into what a successful mindset, successful feeling, and successful, healthier women would do, you know? So, and one of the things that I think about was, um, you know what? when I think about some mindsets or beliefs that I feel like they are not too correct, not too um healthy for me. I don't know for any, any other person, but for me, I always think if I ever have a daughter, would I like her to believe and to think like this and thinking of thinking like this gets me into a sense of um rooting era you know because my mind is the and I, I get rooted and then I say yeah or no or I don't know like depends it depends so um I was thinking like that and I was thinking about me and I was would I like if I have a daughter would I like her to be feeling like this to be feeling like she doesn't create anything to be feel like she's not creating anything in this world because she hasn't have kids at certain age or she hasn't had to get married or whatever or she can't do be transform create anything different from whatever the hell she studied so yeah i realized that oh no and I wouldn't like it. And this is why I decided to change and see like, well, what I don't feel I don't create anything. Huh? Because I was thinking from a masculine energy and a big ego of, 
you gotta do this, 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 and that, and be this, 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 and that, in order, in order to get this, 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 and this, and that, conditioning. And if you don't, you will not be able to have and get and be this, 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 and this, and that, that you desire. And that's bullshit from my mind. That's, you know, uh, that's being so freaking, uh, how would I say it? Uh, what was the word? Insensitive to myself or, you know, cruel to myself. Like, and this was like conditioning from childhood, from education, from generations that we gotta break through and I feel happy like oh hell I can do whatever the shit I want okay I can be a freaking lawyer and become a lawyer and create a lawyer in my professional profile if I want you know I can be you know whatever the shit I want you know it can wear however I want and create a different women I can look younger I can look older I can look fat I can be fat I have a rare experience it not the type of fat we always imagine but fat and I didn't like it I completely skinny skinny as my bones and I can create it if I want it in my mind and in my body. So from a healthy, from healthy boundaries, you learn to create for yourself what's good and meant to be for you. So, um, because yeah, you know, it's not, this is not do and be whatever the hell you want. So you can be a, you know, hurting people where you can be and do activities and actions that put your health, your security, your life, and I don't know, uh, what would I say, your dignity in risk or that take away one of those or all. No, I'm not saying go do whatever the hell you want and do stupid shit. No. I'm just saying, be free, healthy, completely free to do whatever you want and to create whatever you want to create in your life, in your person. And, and yeah, that's it. Because that's what we are meant to be, create, not only children. And this goes too for mothers, from you know that have like who have an emptiness you know there is a there is a lady that I really admire which is her name is um Susan Banker she's like my mom's age and she she already has an emptiness and she stopped working for because of she decided to stay with her children. That was her stage of life. And she stayed with the children. And, um, you know, he married a man who provided for her, whatever. She stayed with her children. And now they have been raised and they, I don't know, move out. I don't know. But she has emptiness. So she's in her 50s, I think. And she created... After created and transformed and raised her children, she created a great podcast, a great YouTube channel. She has created books. And, you know, she is still having a life, you know. I don't know her personally, but at least she's using that energy of creation to create a profession let's say but 
also help other women, other moms. So, um, so this is also to know and to be conscious that if you already have children and you have an empty nest, it doesn't mean you end up your work in this life and in this world like you gotta continue creating not children if you don't want you know maybe it's too late to get pregnant even if you want uh or you can adopt the children many people from other countries who is easy to adopt not here in mexico unless you're rich or I don't know, you're lucky or whatever, but here is not easy to adopt in Mexico. But if you want to continue creating, raising, and transforming children, you can create whatever the hell you want. A business, a career, a study. Like, it's never too late to go and study and, you know, get a master's. If you already have a bachelor's, go get a master's. Excuse me, I have to be hydrated. Or learn something new or, you know, whatever. Learn something new, continue creating yourself. Transforming yourself. That's it. And it never ends. And I feel that when we passed away as women, what we created back then in our lives is still transforming, creating, healing, and keeps raising more and more generations ahead of us. So... So why would you think that after you raise your children, you will have no life or now you have no life or now you have nothing to do or now your work has been done? You're graduated from life, from creating because you raise your children and now your children have children or they move away from your home. No, that's... Uh, I was going to say bullshit, but I think more than bullshit, that's a small mindset. You know, you can be grown and grown. Oh, you're going to be old. Limiting beliefs. Let's say limiting beliefs. Oh, you're going to be old and you are going to be harder for you to learn and to study and get a degree or get a master's or whatever. Oh, no, you're not going to have that same energy. Oh, you're not going to... Oh, no one is going... No one... The freaking, like, employment market will not going to hire you. Hire you. They are not going to hire you. Or you should be already retired. Stay at your home, buy groceries, cook or not cook, and watch Netflix be sitting all day watching TV, Netflix, or whatever. You get nothing to do to create. That's bullshit. You know, it's never too late. I always say it's never too late. And you can do whatever the hell you want. Oh, how am I going to go to a language class, English class, French class. Ooh, that's pathetic. Everyone is young. Well, if you can, if you want, why wouldn't you do it? So I think our biggest fear is uh, human is being ridiculous and being shame for 
because people think we are ridiculous for what we are doing, what we are saying, how we are acting. And um, I'm just going to say that this is for another video, but I'm just going to say that you got to learn to give a fuck whatever people say. You know, if you can't, haven't healed that wound, if you haven't healed to care too much about what other people think and say and other people's opinions may affect you, well, and you are not being happy about because of that, and you're avoiding yourself to be happy just because of that, you're wasting your life. Not your time, your life, literally. So, yeah, it's never too late. It's never too late to get married if you haven't get married. It's never too late to have children. You feel like it's too late, but maybe it's not too late. There are a lot of treatments. It's never too late to be a mom. You can adopt. It's never too late to have a family. It's never too late to trouble. If you're having trouble, and, oh, I'm too old. Oh, I'm too late. Oh, I'm afraid. Whatever. Do it. You can. You want to do it. That's it. If you desire, do it. Enjoy your life. And this is the stage I am, like, for my ego, or whatever, wounded ego, wounded, limiting beliefs, I, masculine energy, I been doing a lot of things, but I realize now that I haven't had fun. Like, sometimes, yes, I, I always enjoy what I do, but you know, I would like to do it with less pressure and less stress, you know, like God, like, I know it's not right, maybe, but many stages in my life, I have lived them from one thing or another thing with a lot of stress, anxiety, and depression. And I don't want that anymore. I don't want that anymore. Like, I'm tired, okay? So... Please call, give me a career, a job, or whatever. Provide for me. But I want to have fun. Help me have fun. Because I don't want to be the boring auntie. Like, no, thank you. Um, and I'm young, of course. But I feel like I just want to have fun, you know? If I'm going to be lazy, I want to have fun. If I am going to do whatever job, manufacturing, I wanted to have fun. If I am going to try another field, I want to have fun. Fun, you know, be funny, be fun. You know, I want to have fun. If I'm going to lose weight or to eat diet or whatever healthy habits, I want to have fun. You know, I don't want to worry about, oh, I'm eating so much calories. Or, oh, today I ate an ice cream. I actually ate an ice cream. And this is this too much high calories or it's too much sugar. Like, I don't care. I don't care about it. I don't care if I'm fit. I don't care if my weight. I don't care if I'm slim. I don't care if I'm super, super, super skinny. Well, I care because that's a sign for me that I'm not healthy. But, you know, I don't care if I am skinny because that's a sign of something not going well, good, going well. Um, Maybe I'm not eating good. If I'm not eating good, it's because I'm anxious or I'm too stressed or I'm depression. Oh, hello. Depression came back. I'm here. This is why you are... Uh, losing weight. Welcome me. Um, you know, but I know I, I don't freak out anymore because I know it's a sign 
or something i have to heal and i can overcome it i can heal and i can come back and gain weight and be healthy and it's just a process and it's just temporary you know everything is temporal now i think also like this everything's temporal you're now here tomorrow i don't know um you know i'm alive now the next hour i don't know so i'm doing this today tomorrow i don't know so you know letting go the hell out of stress there too much rigid lifestyle that i used to have so um yeah uh what would i say why i was saying this um because life is easier and whatever the hell i'm doing i want to have fun if i'm going to practice a sport i want to have fun if I am going to do something that I don't like, maybe, or I don't want to do, I don't do it. You know, as today, I don't want to, you know, get a shower. I don't get a shower. Doesn't have to be anything. Or whatever. You know, there are such things you can do or you have to do to in order to have a, how would I say it? In order to have a uh, discipline that's healthy. But if you're really deep in yourself, you feel like, you know, I don't want to go buy or cook. I'm going to order. Or I don't want to, you know, go buy the groceries and come back and cook. Um, um, don't do it. We all force ourselves to do whatever the hell we don't want to do. And this is why there is a lot of people out there going to work to jobs that they don't like or they don't want to do. Or there's a lot of people like having children that they don't want. Well, they gotta be a mother. Or there's a lot of people, you know, doing this, 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 this and that, but they don't want. You waste a lot of energy when you eat, do, act, say yes to things that you deeply in yourself don't want that's it so um you can do it another day sorry for the noise you gotta do it other day and cook all the food for the whole week or weekend and you are completely free or you no know, whatever so we are forced to do many things we don't want just because we are intended to do it that's like our duty but it's not we, it, it's our duty in our mind that society, parents, family, education, schools, whatever system told us, you get to do. So, you know, I know as a children or teenager, you get to do certain things because eh, school, eh, whatever, eh, basically, because you are being raised don't get me wrong like if you're a teenager or a child and you're watching this like 
just to say, I don't want to go to school the whole semester and that's what I want and I'm going to do it. No, because you're racing. But once you're an adult, you are, you know, living from a very rigid lifestyle mentality and habits, you gotta be nicer to yourself. So um, in order to be nicer to yourself, you gotta let it go many things that makes your person and your lifestyle very rigid. And if you give yourself this flexibility, you're not going to be irresponsible. You're not going to be, um, how would I say it? A bad person. You're not going to become a freaking, I don't know, mm, person with no purpose in life. You know, that doesn't mean you're going to be no, because that comes from a mediocre mentality. You're just going to be nicer to you, especially if you're a woman. And you're going to let it go and flow and create with your energy. That's it. Okay. So um, it all starts with healing. But because of this, it doesn't mean you are going to become stop like feeding your children or taking care of them or not taking in them to the school because or whatever or not taking them to the doctor if they need it like no that's basic thing you know being a responsible mother or ne neglecting mother or women, no. It's from a conscious state and from surrendering and from rooting yourself and from healing, um, you know, bullshit ideas that you have grown with, okay? That are not allowing you to continue to transform, to create. The lifestyle, the projects, the relationship, the life, the image, the health, the body that you want. So mm -hmm. um, basically the main topic was to realize in myself that I know what creation I felt what creation and transformation is, and racing is, and growing is, and building is. So I hope it's useful for you. And I gotta continue doing my life with fun. Okay. Because I wanna have fun. I want to have this time like who cares no one cares about your life no one only you people may blah 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 blah, blah. Da, 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 da. oh she did this oh she do that oh she said this oh my uh, who cares like it's your freaking life So, in order to be happy, we gotta learn to heal, be conscious. First, be conscious, heal, transform, and create. For our happiness, and for the sake of these words, and for the sake of your future generations i mean i don't care much about previous generations because some of them are not here anymore but um you know future generations like damn i don't want to 
fucked her life up. No. Like, you can heal past generations so you can heal yourself. And by healing yourself, you heal past generations and you, like, not continue reproducing that uh, messing up style that they have. But if if you heal, like, yeah, that's for but the purpose is to create your life from a healing person and to let them next generations create the life and build the life and transform if they gotta transform something if they mess up but they wouldn't have to at least deal with the mess that you made on your past generations so at least their path may be easier So, yep, that's it. I gotta go because it's too late and I'm gonna get a shower. And I was going to check up some emails and suddenly this idea came out. Uh, take care everyone and have fun and I hope you had enjoyed the eclipse from today. Mm -hmm. Love you all and sorry, I'm watching at the cat. But love you all and continue doing your lifestyle and continue healing and uh yep transform let's transform and create whatever we want take care see you soon bye bye mm -hmm.